Ages ago, Jin Janzo and I were peers. Ever questioning with goodwill, he was. His nature made him question the supremacy of us beyond mortal woe and grief. He deemed all souls could be akin to us. Why then do we tower whilst others merely kneel and offer? He asked. I told him the others are less than us. His misstep cast him back into the endless cycle. Reborn, he drew three disciples. But what did they change? One ended up a corpse, others fugitives. He too took to the shadows. <laughs> Pathetic. Those journeyers have misplaced their worship. Why bet on the Sutra? when one oneself can be a Buddha! Kneel before the Buddha of the future.
that trickster caught you too? This wicked sack is much more vicious than before, nurturing such evilness. Yellowbrow must have woven Wukong's strength into it. That bastard! Join me! Let's fight our way out. I remember the Buddha's hand at the Yellowbrow. All of them suffer. I I Such excitement, surely would not 
rogue stole my seed sack and fled here. With Wukong's relic, he made it a soul-snatching vessel. He also took my look and my name to trick his old foes into vengeance. Hmm. Yeah, you pot belly. I should have figured out it was you. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive my little deception. Stolen once, I buy it. Stolen twice, I doubt it. <laughs> Your doubt is fair. I shouldn't have underestimated his nerve. I meant to subdue him myself, but you two were swifter. Fortune favors you, Bajie. But I see great potential in this young one. He might just be... Hmm? The right monkey. Enough of this empty talk! I don't care if Yellowbrow drowns in the lake. We can't have Wukong's relic sink with him! <laughs> For that, pray, lend me that break of yours. Uh, hmm. 